Live from the KMOV Broadcast Center in downtown St. Louis, this is News 4 with breaking news. First at five, two St. Louis police officers shot. One is critical tonight. We are right now awaiting an update from police any moment. And we'll get you to that live press conference when it begins. But here is what we know right now. This is video from drone four overhead the scene in Ferguson near Riverview and West Florissant. Police tell us two city officers were shot while approaching a car wanted for a homicide. We know St. Louis County Police arrested four suspects. News 4 has team coverage for you tonight, monitoring the situation at Barnes Jewish Hospital where those officers are being treated. And the investigation is still underway in North County right now as well. We'll begin though with our Jenna Ray, who's live at Barnes Jewish. Jenna. Sam and Corey, I'm going to be real quick as we have Chief Hayden coming in right now for that press conference you mentioned. We're going to get everybody lined up up here. Just so you guys know, this is a joint press conference between St. Louis City and St. Louis County Police right now as they were both involved in today's incident this afternoon. So as you all know, we had an officer uh, that was shot earlier today, very critically uh, unstable when brought here. Um, I, I am uh, very thankful in the fact that um, uh, the doctors would tell you that, that they have, uh, as, they comp as they neared the end of the surgery, that, um, that he was certainly better off then than he was when he was brought in. And so they have, they have discussed um, um, moving him to the ICU. And so we are encouraged by that. He stayed that by no stretch of the imagination is he out of out of danger, but they wanted us to know that he was doing better than better now than he was when we brought him in. And I, and I, that's, I, that, I'm thankful to that. Please, uh, everyone, continue to pray. Uh, he's not out, he's not in the out of the woods, but um, the doctors would tell you that he's doing better now than he was when he first came. Thank you. So as you're all aware, we had an incident earlier today in North St. Louis County involving uh, some city police officers that uh, exchanged gunfire with a suspect. We have several suspects in custody at this time. It's a very active investigation. So officers are up there on the scene now conducting that investigation, and they're gonna be heading back to headquarters in a little bit to conduct some interviews and whatnot. So it's a very active investigation, so we can't give you a lot of details at this time. Were these the homicide suspects wanted in a connection to an overnight shooting on Natural Bridge? We believe these subjects were involved in an incident last night. No and location of where? No, I don't know the location of where. confirm that one of these suspects was possibly injured and or deceased in this incident this afternoon? One of the subjects was injured and he's here at Barnes Hospital. Were any of the other suspects injured? I don't have any information on that. Was it a gunshot wound or another type of injury? The suspect here was shot. St. Louis County is handling this investigation in collaboration with St. Louis City. Okay. And they were just aiding in this um, apprehension? Yeah, it was, uh, I believe it was their suspect that they were looking for, and we aided them when they called for assistance up there. But it happened in St. Louis County, so we'll handle the investigation. Obviously, this is a very rough time for both police departments. You lost an officer last year. You had several officers injured just this week. I mean, what, what are the emotions right now? Well, it's very difficult when any officer gets injured or killed on a line of duty. And as a family, a police department family, we all come together. You saw the number of officers that were out here today, both city and county. A lot of municipal officers were involved. We had multiple agencies on scene up in North St. Louis County. So we're going to do what we have to. We're going to come together and support each other in this. But uh, we ask the public to be uh, to recognize that the danger that these officers face every single day as they go out there and do their jobs. How important is it to have the proper funding to fund these officers who are out on the street dealing with some of these difficult situations every single day? Well, it's vital the officers have the equipment and the training that they need to conduct these investigations and do their job. And uh, we're fortunate that the officers are out there. They do have the equipment they need right now. But, you know, there's always funding for other resources that we'd like to get, um, additional cameras, vehicles, more body armor if we can get it. But um, we, we make do with what we have, but if we can get more resources, that'd be wonderful. I know this is a St. Louis County investigation, but I know both departments were involved. Will any body camera footage, dash cam footage, 
footage be released to the public because of this incident and during the incident? I can't release any information on that right now. Um, were the, were, was the suspect shot by police or? I can't answer that right now. And how, how did you identify the, the person? How did the chase begin? Could you tell us a little bit more about what So I don't have a lot of details on the initial part of the investigation for the traffic stop. Yeah, he's in stable condition. I'm not sure when he's able to go home, but um, he's in good spirits. He's with his family, and so everything is going well as we speak. So you've been told that the officer who was shot in the abdomen had very serious injuries, as you mentioned, possibly came in completely unresponsive. Any comment on that, or can you confirm that? Well, when, when certainly earlier on, they were doing life-saving life measures in the ER, and again, um, uh, right now as we speak, the doctor would tell you that he's doing better now than he was when he brought in. But absolutely, they were doing life-saving measures upon arrival. What message do you have for these hospital workers inside? These hospitals have been overwhelmed for months now because of this pandemic. They're able to treat people like your officers and others who come in for emergencies. What's your message to them? Hey, we are, we are very thankful for, for the, the medical personnel here. Uh, if, if you had been there, you could have seen how feverishly they were working on our officer. I, mean, I told the doctor himself, I, I was very, very pleased and very proud of how they uh, performed their duties. But, I mean, they clearly were um, in, in desperation trying to make sure that our officer is safe. And, um, and right now he's doing better than when they came. Chief, you had mentioned about the officer you were coming to visit who was critically injured. Monday night in the accident with the other officer. How's he doing? He's doing better, but I was I was wanting to see him, and then he was still uh, getting some. They were tending to him as well, so uh, I'll I'll get a chance to see him either late today or tomorrow. Have you released Nelson Sanchez? No. Will, will that happen tonight, possibly? Perhaps. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you guys. Yep. So just so you guys know, that was a joint press conference from St. Louis County Police as well as St. Louis City Police. Both officers looking better than they were just an hour ago. The officer who was shot in the leg during this incident near North City, North County, he was shot in the leg. He's expected to recover. The officer who we told you about an hour ago who was shot in the abdomen in serious critical condition, still in surgery at this time but doctors say things are looking optimistic at this time. They haven't released the names of either of the officers involved in the incident. We also just got some new information about the suspects who were involved. One suspect involved has been shot in the incident and of course is in Barnes Jewish Hospital being treated right now. Whenever we learn more information, we'll be back and I'll have another live report for you guys at six. All right, Jenna, yeah, the big takeaway there, that officer brought in critical, unstable condition to the hospital, doing better this evening. That is some good news. Well, we saw law enforcement officials there at the hospital, and right now investigators are still at the scene of the shooting. And here's exactly where that is at West Florissant and Northwind Estates Drive in Ferguson. That's where our Russell Kinsall picks up our team coverage tonight. Russell? Yeah, right now, still a number of police officers here at this scene. Uh, crime scene investigators still looking for evidence. Let me let you see that white SUV behind me. That is the suspect's vehicle that they were in whenever the four officers confronted those suspects to take them into custody, and those two officers were shot. So police say this happened around 1 o'clock this afternoon. They saw an SUV that matched the description of an one involved in a homicide last night in the city. They followed it, and then here at West Florissant and North Winds Estates, the officers tried to stop that vehicle to take the four suspects into custody. According to police, the suspects opened fire, hitting the two officers. Yeah, it's just, it's just a tough time to be a first responder. I mean, you know, we, we, are, we are hearing about critical incidents daily, and it's just tough, you know. I mean, hey, officers out here working hard, you know, hey, they're doing everything that they can to keep people safe. That was Chief John Hayden, who spoke earlier at a press conference at 3 o'clock this afternoon, talking about how difficult it is uh, uh, and hard it was on the, uh, the force and himself uh, to, to hear that officer who was injured and was, was critical at that time. Uh, we have continued to watch as a canine officer and his dog uh, and crime scene investigators have made their way through the yards surrounding this intersection, presumably looking for evidence, possibly a, a weapon or weapons that the suspects may have discarded, but uh, still uh, an active crime scene uh, investigation 
Ferguson here at West Florissant and Northwood Estates. Uh, live in Ferguson, Russell Kinsall, News 4. A lot still more to learn in the, the hospital and at that scene. All right, Russell, thank you. And as we gather more information on this story, stay connected to News 4. Download the KMOV News app for updates and straight to your phone. You can also track this story on our website, kmov.com.